Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ray, and these are this is the fifth Android tutorial. We're looking at the generated code from the Hello Android that was created in the last show, show number four. And I'm going to walk you through real quickly this time, see if you get a clearer understanding. Everything starts in the Android manifest. The Android manifest starts the application. The application starts an activity. There's a whole, going to be a whole more than one activity there. So think of activities as web pages. The very first web page in any website, if you remember that, is the default page or the index page or whatever. In this case, it's going to be the launcher, the one that's identified as launcher. So in this case, this activity is the launcher activity. So which is this main activity, which extends activity. And on create, it'll set its content. Now, this class right here, the R, are those resources. And it's pointing to the layout. And if we can go right over here to R, we can sort of see that, that here it is, R, layout, activity main, which points to this activity main MXL, which is the hello world part, which is the graphical layout part. This hello world part comes from this part right here, which points to another resource table, which is the values strings. Hello world. And basically that's how it threads through real quickly. Now going forward, let's go back, let's close some of these windows down so I don't have too many things open. In the graphical layout part, let's get rid of this for right now. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to build our own. So we'll go in here to the form widgets and I'm going to put in a large text. And let's put it up further to the top. Okay, and um, center. Text is going to be, the ID will be just TV. Okay. And it asks to refactor all the way through. And I say, of course, you do that. I say, yes, I want to rename it TV. The, I need to add a button. So I'm going to add a button there. And then the button, let me sort of expand what I'm doing here. I'm looking at the properties part. I wonder if I can make this larger. Yeah. The button, the text I want reading on the button is say, click me. Me? Okay. And the ID, I sort of like shorter naming conventions, so I'll BTN will be good. And we will save that part. It's going to ask me, do I want to refactor the, the ID BTN across? And I say yes. And I say, you sure you want to do that for the XML and for the R file? I say, of course I do. Um, let's minimize this or bring this back here. So we have a button. And the last thing that we want to do is an input field or something that we can input text to. And we'll do this. We'll make this centered and we will expand it all the way across and of course we will give it the idea. Let's go to properties. Where are you? Properties. Edit ID is basically what I want to do and I'm going to call it um, edit text. Okay. And I say OK. So if we look at the XML here, we see we have the text view, a button, and an edit view. And these are all created. If we save this, we will see entries in the R file. We'll see, um, I guess those, those are views. Or, um, let's, let's do this. Do, 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 do. We will clean, because clean is always good. Run, debug, project clean. So we clean all. And I'm not really seeing it there, but it'll do for now. Let's maximize this. Over here in the main activity page, what we want to do to our, we have this view. Let's do the graphical view. We 
Can I maximize this? Yes. There you go. Text item, click me, and text area. What we want to do is we want to add an event listener to this button. So let's sort of do that. And that's going to be pretty simple. All we need to do is to make sure that we have a handle to the button. And to make a handle to the button, it'd be something like this. When I'm using the find by view to the button, but it's asking me to import the widget. So I'll import the widget. Okay. Once I have the button, I'm going to um, set the button to some kind of on cl clack listener. So to back up, I'm going to have to define the on click listener before I can set it to. So here I'm setting a new thing on click listener. Let's import the view view. Okay. And this one over here, I want to import just view. And everything should be pretty good. So let me explain this code here. We put a handle on the button. Once we get that button, we're going to set the listener, we're going to set its listener to the onClick listener. The onClick listener is defined like this, which is an anonymous class, as you can tell right here. But it's the onClick listener. And inside the on click listener, last but not least, what we will do is um, let me see if this will sort of work here. I am going to have a public, we'll call it send message because basically that's what it, we're doing send messages. I don't know, maybe I have a better name for it, but send message sounds reasonable. And it takes a view parameter and pretty much let's do this let's take that view parameter and look for a text item I need to import the widget and for the edit item I'll need to import the widget so what I'm going to do here is on click listener is going to evoke this and I'm saying yand let me, let me plug this into here Yes, that should work. Okay. On click listener, listener is really this anonymous object, which is really points as a wrapper to this send message. If I come over here to send message, send message takes the view element. It looks for the view item TV. It also looks for the edit item. Et and it takes and it sets the text to what was text in the what text was in the edit window. So that's how it works. So this beats upon itself. Okay, let's see if this runs and if it runs, we'll call it an A. So emulator pops up. Um, by the way, how are you guys enjoying the videos? I know I say um a lot and I'm trying to stop that, but. I don't know. Anyway, like the videos, they're really cool. I'm getting ready to call things in the evening, so this is going to be the last video for the night, which is pretty good. Okay, so we have click me, large text. Let's write something in here. S S S S S S S. We click on that. What's going to happen? It's going to the on click listener is going to run everything over to send message. Send message is going to take the text view, find the text that we um, and take the edit view, and we're going to set the text in the text view to what's in the edit. Um, I'll just do it. So this text up here will become SSS after we do the click me. And it is so. Keep coming back. I'm going to do one activity to another, and we'll continue on from there. Probably talk about the activity lifecycle. Peace.